Ellie stood on her tiptoes on top of the ugliest orange plastic chair she'd ever laid eyes on, stretching to the right as far as she could, when a pair of sneakers squeaked to an abrupt stop behind her. That better be a workplace safety demonstration on what not to do. A cool voice cut through the background noise in the emergency department. It drowned out the steady beep of cardiac monitors, a ringing phone, and loud coughing from one of the treatment cubicles. Ellie dropped to her heels and glanced over her shoulder. Dr. Regina Novak loomed in front of her, athletic arms folded across her blue scrub top, and her full lips compressed into a disapproving line. This, she jerked her chin in the direction of Ellie's feet on the chair, is exactly how many of our patients end up in the ED. She was right. Of course Ellie knew that. But the doctor's superior tone grated on her nerves. One of the reasons she enjoyed being an ED nurse was that emergency physicians tended to be more laid back, not as abrasive and arrogant as some of the surgeons. Clearly, Dr. Regina Novak was the exception. She was all the stereotypes about doctors with God complexes rolled into one five foot ten package, an admittedly gorgeous package, but that was beside the point. She had rubbed Ellie the wrong way ever since Dr. Novak's first day as a new attending at Campbell Medical Center, and every interaction in the seven months since had only cemented that first impression. I'll be right down. I just need. You. Ellie stretched to her right again and pinned the end of the string to the wall. There, all done. Dr. Novak squinted at the string of paper hearts, as if Ellie had fixed alien artifacts to the wall. What is that? Ellie gazed down at her from on top of the chair. Was it childish that she enjoyed being able to look down at the tall doctor for once? Reluctantly, she jumped down. Paper hearts, she said with what she hoped to be a disarming smile. I can see that. Dr. Novak gripped the lanyard that held her hospital ID as if she wanted to strangle Ellie with it. I mean, why are you putting that up here? Wasn't it obvious? Because February is the month of love, and tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I thought putting up some decorations would cheer up our patients and create an uplifting atmosphere. This is an emergency department, the least uplifting and romantic place on earth, Dr. Novak replied coolly. People come here because they are sick or injured and need help. I doubt they feel like celebrating anything, least of all this commercialized nonsense holiday. Ah. Ellie should have known Dr. Novak didn't have a romantic bone in her body.